So now this is going to be another just kind of a quick video. I haven't really been preparing to make videos lately, but I still kind of want to fiddle around with them, prepare for upcoming videos. So right now I'm using the 741 op amp as a comparator. So I just slightly turned the uh, trim pot towards a more negative voltage. Of course I could turn it a lot more negative, but uh, I have the circuit wired up. When the trim pot is negative at the uh, non-inverting input pin in comparison to the inverting input pin which is grounded so that's zero volts when uh, the non-inverting pin is more negative because the trim pots more negative the red LED comes on when I turn it more positive the green LED comes on and there's a really fine point here where they jump over and if I cross that line it goes uh, one to the other so to begin with let's take a multimeter measurement of this and I actually did this in the last video. The last video wasn't intended to be a uh, multimeter based video. So the black probe, I have this alligator clip that I attached to the wire. It's clipped to the black probe. We're going to ground that. So that's the zero volt reference point. I'm using two batteries to give us a dual uh, voltage. And uh, so there's the black terminal of one, the red terminal of the other, and of course the rest of the circuit goes uh, between them so we can go anywhere from uh, 9 volts positive down to 9 volts negative and this is the halfway point 0 volts and the red probe I also have a jumper and a red wire and we will plug that in to the output of the trim pot because that's the voltage I'm interested in for this video and I've been in a bunch of videos on these topics before so I'm just kind of rushing through them now uh, watch my recent videos if everything I'm saying makes uh, no sense right now. So right now the output of the uh, trim pot here is about 0.6 volts and I'm going to turn it and we're actually going to be able to get it to land. Right now it's negative that's why the red LED came on and I thought there we go okay I thought we could get it to zero volts it was doing that earlier but as you can see we're at uh, practically zero volts and I haven't done any testing yet but there should be just a tiny bit of leakage current into the non-inverting pin which is why I think we are pulled to zero volts if I remove the jumper that goes from the trim pot to the non-inverting pin now you can see we're we're still really close to zero volts but nowhere near just uh, one thousandth of a volt and I'm going to try to get it to completely zero volts and actually it looked like I got pretty close but uh, as you can see it's really hard for me to uh, try to get it to to about exactly zero I'll plug this in but when I have the jumper plugged in to the pin now it's harder and so that's pretty much definitely because it's allowing a little bit of current to go through the wire if I reduce the voltage enough current will go through the uh, non-inverting pin through the wire and the non-inverting pin easier than the multimeter so we're not going to focus on that anymore we're going to move along to the next measurement we want to get so this was pretty clear whenever it's even slightly positive the green LED comes on whenever it's even slightly negative the red LED comes on a basic comparator so now we're going to make this into a Schmidt trigger because that's the actual voltages I was interested in I need to do a video on the uh, Schmidt trigger at some point and uh, so I'm gonna put a 2 kilo ohm resistor from the output to the non inverting input so that's gonna feed back some of the voltage so right now you can see the voltage went up from where we were at before so now we're going to turn the voltage down and uh, we're already past the halfway point but you can see there's still a little bit of positive voltage so we're still really close to the halfway point but we're more towards negative now but there's a little bit of a positive voltage so I'm going to keep slowly turning it more negative and uh, of course you can see the voltage going down and right somewhere around this point now you see all of a sudden 
the uh, red LED came on and now we're in negative voltage territory which uh, makes sense because we're down towards negative but what was interesting was we held about zero and then suddenly went down about 2.5 volts in that range so now I'm going to turn it more positive we'll jump right to the halfway point we're actually a little bit positive but we're still negative voltage again and so I gotta turn it and this is why the Schmidt trigger works like this it doesn't trigger until it absolutely has to and then it's reinforced once it's triggered we have a lot more voltage now coming to that pin that's positive that's why it's gonna turn positive and stay positive it's not a like a halfway iffy point it's really clear you have to go way out of your way to change the state and then it holds it there you have to go way out of your way to change it back of course if you don't want to change it back you have a lot of room to uh, move around before it changes but once it does it's a it's a really solid change you have to go out of your way to change it back again